so welcome today we are going to see how to install this fast to the code or vs code for our abbreviation it is the most popular integrated development environment available it is lightweight and um cost platform so you can get it for windows linux or mac os so since we are going to be installing it on linux we want to see the package that we'll be using so going on code.visualstudio.com it takes you to the default home page, home page of the website and if you look at this portion of the website it has already detected my operating system as linux and so it presents two options for me to install it the .deb file and the .ropm file so the .deb file is for debian based that means ubuntu, line, ubuntu linux and all that why the .ropm file is for red hat centos federal linux so since we are installing it on ubuntu we are going to focus on this so let's go ahead and download this version and let's wait okay so save file as it is downloading we want to also know that uh, visual studio code is available in the default ubuntu software repository but it is better for you to get the .deb file because it gives you the latest version so our file is downloaded so we'll go to the download folder so we can see it there then we can take it over to our desktop I like to install from my desktop because it's cleaner or oh. so open with other application select the dot uh, gdb installation where it will check it so to install it right click open with other application my default installer is the uh, gdb installer and i'll put a link in the description to a video i've done about how to set it up on your linux system so the gdb installer checks for the dependency of the application to see if my system have those dependencies that will ensure that the application will run smoothly so the status is all dependencies are satisfied so it means that the I can go ahead and install the package without worrying about broken dependency or required dependency on the system so enter your password so the installation begins So GDB installs it, does the installation for you without entering any code. So installation complete. But I've done the installation first to check. We can go to our application dashboard to say code. So now we have VS Code installed on our system. So that's it then you can customize it the way you want for initially to begin working with it so that's it thank you very much 
like share and subscribe to our channel so as to make more videos like this